Welcome back to Suns Valley Podcast, everybody. Thanks for everybody who showed up to the live stream the other day. We're going to have another one Sunday for the next Summer League game, but it was cool. We played the Lakers, played Scottie Pippen Jr. and Sharif O'Neal, and we worked them. This is actually a really good Summer League team, a fun team to watch, which was surprising considering last season was so abysmal so hard on the eyes right there was a player who went completely unnoticed in that game who i want to talk about whom i'm betting you don't know anything about and you probably have a low opinion of him because he didn't really have a very good game i watched last night's summer league game again just because i was bored and something stuck out to me some body stuck out to me and i just thought who is kevin zong and i had very little and low expectations because of the way he played. But I look him up and sure enough, this dude can ball. Now, you know me, I, I'm always going after what are considered mid-tier players. I'm always really hyped on them, but I'm convinced this is different. Kevin Zong is 6'9", 6'10", he's super fast, has a terrific jumper, and is really, really bouncy. You see a lot of people comparing him to Giannis, and I think that's because of his height, his dunking, but I wouldn't necessarily go Giannis. I don't know. I do see some Giannis-like tendencies. For instance, the way he's able to handle the ball in transition and get to the basket and just dunk on people and through people and use his big body. Like he's strong, he's confident. His handles are good enough at his size that he can actually do something with the ball. But where I don't see him as being too Giannis-like is his jumper is pure as the driven snow. Last season, he averaged 38.5% or so from three, almost 40%. And when you see his jumper, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's gorgeous. He has a lot of Bogdan Bogdanovich in his game, in my opinion. I see him as kind of like an upright knockdown shooter but he's got other moves, right? Like he's so good at three pointers and you can see that the defense really respects his jumper. So when he pump fakes, people bite. And when they bite, he is so happy to push dribble through, give a little crossover, get to the rim and dunk with authority. Like, I mean, I don't wanna say Amari Stoudemire in this situation, but he's much closer to Amari Stoudemire than DeAndre Ayton was. And we have a need at the four, a glaring need. I'm not saying that this kid is going to leapfrog people in the, in the lineup and just get to go start or really play a lot of minutes. What I'm saying is I want Kevin Zong on our team. I want to be the team that develops him. I don't want to lose his rights. We've got him in the, in the house right now. We've we've got some rights to him. At least we have some advantage if it came to signing him. I want us to go through with that. I don't want us to just let him go away. It seems like we do this all the time. I'm not saying he's gonna be as good as Christian Wood, but we let Christian Wood go. We had the rights to Christian Wood at one point and we let him walk for nothing. I'm, I don't want that to happen with this guy. So, but, but here's where it has to start. I just really want Kevin Zong to get to play in the, the summer league. Just let him play. Whoever's coaching the summer league, let this man play. Please don't bring him off the bench at the very end of the game. There's a guy specifically that I'm thinking of that I want him to replace getting all of his minutes, literally every single minute because I'm done with them. Leonardo Mendel. I hope I'm saying that right. That's the best I can do. He was trash. He didn't look like he belonged on an NBA summer league court, let alone anywhere near an actual NBA court. This kid, Kevin Zong, is just better. You can tell, and I want him to get the reps. I don't wanna miss out on a, on a super talent like this. Now, oh, he can shoot threes, he's, you know, but what if he's soft, what if he, This guy is not soft. He is athletic as hell. Some of these dunks I watch, I'm just like, damn! Like, honestly, sometimes it looks like he's jumping off of a trampoline. And once again, he's 6'9", 6'10". And you can see, I mean, okay, these guys look a little small here. Like, obviously, this is an NBA talent. But there was a moment 
in the summer league game where he took off from inside the free throw line and it looked like he was going to try to destroy somebody with a dunk. He got fouled and ended up going to the line. And Ish Wainwright laughed and kind of dapped him up. I thought, as I'm, I'm sure you probably thought, well, that was just a joke, right? I mean, he wasn't really going to go up and try to dunk that. That that doesn't even seem humanly possible. No, he was seriously going to try to destroy that dude. This dude loves putting people on posters. He loves yamming on heads. And that, combined with his height, combined with his ability to handle the ball. Like, look at this dude's bounce. Combined with his ability to shoot. I mean, the dude shoots lasers. Now, I have to admit... In the summer league game, he looked nervous. He looked like he wasn't ready for the moment quite yet. He did and he didn't. He got his own rebound, he got a put back, he looked aggressive, he looked like his motor was just fine, but he looked like he was racing through the motions a little bit and that's completely understandable. It's his first time, I think, on an, on any NBA court. It's, it's gonna be scary a little bit. So I'm willing to give him more than one game. But when he's playing over in the CBA in China, he looks like a man playing amongst boys. He looks like it's it's boring for him. Like he's just cramming on people's heads like a video game. And people are just standing around like, wow, this dude can really jump that high? Once again, we have a need. Look at that. We have a need for power forward. Jay Crowder is on the trade block. Cam Johnson is not really a power forward and he's probably gone. Really, who are we gonna run at the power forward at, the, at this point? Obviously we have Dario Saric. I'm as excited as anyone to see how healthy he is, but Dario can't jump over a phone book, let alone hit threes consistently. At least the last time we saw him, it was inconsistent stuff. So I'm just looking at, we don't have very many options, young options. Can we please identify this 6'10 big man as somebody who we should probably develop and not, not let out of our sights? Can we not let him go to some other team and be something? Obviously, that's my opinion. You could you could see this guy play and say that I'm crazy, but I see something in him. I want the Suns to play him in the Summer League. That's all I'm asking. Play this man in Summer League. Do not play Leonardo Molnir. Whatever you, whatever his name is, I cannot remember it because he's that forgettable. Kevin Zong is not going to be forgettable. I think he can help us win right now in the Summer League. And I think that as barren as our cupboards are, I mean, for God's sakes, it, it comes back to this. But we paid Damian Lee over the minimum. Can we please have some young talent on the team that we can have some belief and some hope in? Our cupboards are bare. This kid fills them in a little bit. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Do you want to see more Kevin Zong in the Summer League? Did you know, have any idea that this dude had bounce like this? And did you have any idea that his game looked so pure in the CBA? Because I, I really didn't. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time. Go Suns.